In Affinity Photo, have you ever wanted to blur your text as well as add colours that can be modified at any point? Let's start right at the beginning. Create some text. Now I'm going to use Artistic Text Tool. So Artistic Text Tool, type something and it can be in any colour. I'm going with red and the word text. And of course you can set the font as you wish. But it's live so you can change it at any time. And you can also create it at any size. What you can then do is go to layer and down to a new live filter layer and then blur and you can use any of these blurs. They're all layer effects that are just added on top of the text. So it can be modified at any point. So motion blur, and you'll get this panel. And you can change the radius, simply increase that or you can modify it on the actual document itself. But I'm just gonna increase it that way and also change the rotation to 90. So you've got it up and down. And of course you can continue to modify the radius. Also you can go here to the blend modes. So blend modes, you've got a whole range of different blend modes that you can use with your text. And you can also go for something like multiply. So then you can actually see the text beneath that blurring effect. Close that. What you can also do is you can distort it. Now you don't have to distort it all. You can actually use a selection with this. So you can expand this out. You can see you've got here motion blur. It's just a layer. You can remove it, but you can also now add a distortion. So I'm just going to go over here, rectangular marquee tool. And you don't have to apply it over the entire thing, just over this. So now with the text there, make certain text is selected. You've got this selection. You can go to select and you can go down to feather. Feather's a great one. You can set it to maybe 100, 200, just something like that. And you can see now you get this rounding. Click apply. Now apply the filter. Again, a live filter so you can modify it at any time. So go to layer and new live filter layer again. Go down to distort. And this is a new one, mesh warp. This is in version two. So mesh warp, select that. And you can see then you get this bounding box. Now it's around the text, not around the selection but you can still modify it. So as you modify it, you can see what happens. It distorts there, but you've still got this original bit just stuck there as well. And you can pull that, create a nice shadow effect, a ghostly effect. And of course you can modify this mesh warp in numerous ways. Please check out my videos on how to use the mesh warp tool. But you can double click, so you can add additional nodes and you can drag and distort the, the text and you can still read it, it says the word text. Once you're happy with that, go up here and click done. And this is live, you can still modify it any time. You can see it's beneath here. You just go over here to the layers and you can see text and you can see mesh warp and you can also see motion blur. You can modify them any point simply by double clicking the entry. So double click and then it will bring up again that set of nodes which you can then warp and change and modify the design or the motion blur as well and then click done. Now what you can do is you can add some color into it. So I'm just gonna remove the selection now. So select and deselect, but you can see the selection, it's basically been added there. It's a mask. So it's a mask that you can still continue to modify if you want to. You can go to that, apply effects to it, change it. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just go here on top of the text or just simply deselect everything. Then go to layer, and you can go down to new adjustment layer and you can go down and use gradient map. So gradient map, you can use any of the others of course to apply different ones, black and white, etc. But gradient map, quickly add some color in. And it of course will vary. You will not probably get this preset, you may get something else. But you can change it. Simply go along there, double click the entry and you can see you've added another one. You can change the color and maybe click there Set the color, so maybe go for white or go for blue. And you can see as you change it, it will change the end result. And you of course can delete things. You can just simply select and you can see it's slightly bigger than the other ones. That's the one that's selected. And you can just delete it. If you don't want it, just press the delete key. Now you might see what I've just done, just lost that panel. Well, that's not a great idea. Again, some quirks here. If that happens, simply just go to layer, new layer, adjustment layer, and again, go down to gradient map. And you can see you've got it back there. 
Sometimes that happens. Just delete it. You can always just simply add it quickly again. And there it is. And again, you can modify this or just keep it as that. And also, if you want, go to the blending modes. Just go down here, maybe go for multiply. And you can see as you do that, again, you'll see different colors, different results. Maybe go with linear light and close that panel. And you can see now gradient map adjustment above the text. The text is still live. So with this, you can change it anytime. Just simply double click there and it'll bring up the panel. Double click the warp and it'll bring that up. Now, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> you have to do it a couple of times. Or motion blur, double click that. And again, bring up the panel. It should always do it. Sometimes has a mind of its own and doesn't. But here with the text, simply select the text layer. Go over here to the artistic text tool and decide, you know what? I want the word speech or something else. X, Y, Z, you can just change it to anything and you can see you've still got that color. And of course you can, if you want to modify everything still, still all live. So again, double click here and modify this text. And you can see as you do that, it will warp, change, click done, or go to the gradient map, double click that and change the color for that as well. So you can go, unfortunately, one thing you can't do is access the swatches. That would be a great feature. I don't know why they've never added a feature for a drop down so you could add via swatches, but that isn't there. But you can see, close that, and there you have your very colorful text, which you, of course, can go and select with the move tool, and you can move it around, resize, so just drag, move it around, and also you can rotate it. So as you rotate it, you can see what happens there. It creates all kinds of other effects. And of course, you can apply other filter effects to it, change these settings, as well. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.